You're watching eBuyer and this is the Razorbook 13. We're going to be unboxing the notebook and taking a look at some of its key features in this short video. At the top of the box, you'll find the included power adapter, which is really compact and slimline for portability. You'll also then find the notebook itself protected by these sleeves on either end inside this Razor branded box. Opening up this box then, we find the notebook immediately presented with a pull tab which makes it super easy to slide on out of the packaging. The silver aluminum finish is not only quite substantial in the weight, but also in build quality. And the notebook is plastic wrapped to keep it protected through all phases of shipping. Lifting up the lid of the notebook itself actually helps to raise your keyboard up to ensure an ergonomic typing position. The keyboard is a low profile white tactile keyboard that fits really nicely with the design of the notebook and speaker grills on both the left and the right hand side give you really clear crisp sound quality while you're on the go. A large glass trackpad at the bottom is really really nice to use and complements the keyboard really well. The keyboard is not only white in its aesthetic, but also RGB and configurable with inside windows. Moving back to that compact power adapter from earlier, you also get this rubberized cable tidy, which helps to keep things nice, tidy and out of the way. Most importantly though, this notebook is actually powered up by USB-C. This is a next generation versatile connector, which will also allow this notebook to be powered off a USB battery bank, which is perfect for travel scenarios. We've now booted up the Razorbook 13 into Windows, and here you can see straight off the bat that screen is super duper sharp, of course, 4K resolution and its touchscreen, which is kind of crazy. I really don't want to get fingerprint marks all over the laptop. But you can see here, if we jump into our actual Windows launcher, we can scroll through each of our apps. Once we then start using the laptop, we can scroll through our history as well, using that Windows taskbar at the bottom, bring over our notification pane as well, which apps are going to start to populate. Pairing this with the powerful integrated Iris XE graphics always ensures you get a great visual experience. Plus, what's more, the 11th generation Core i7 under the hood is great for multitasking with four cores and eight threads that ensures you've always got the power you need when you need it. Plus, the hardware is optimized to wake up in an instant, so you can get right back to what you were doing without having to wait around. That was really easy. One thing I really like about this Ultrabook as an avid gamer is the inclusion of an RGB keyboard. You can control the RGB effects through the Razer Synapse app, uh, specifically Chroma Studio. We've got a range of quick effects we can select, including a ripple effect that when we type will actually ripple away from those keys. You can then change the color of the ripple effect as well, like with all the effects included today. There's blue. We can also switch over and set it to spectrum cycling, which is one of my favorite effects. And we'll run through each of the colors in the 16.8 million color RGB spectrum one by one, which is awesome. It's also worth noting that the notebook's got 16 gigs of RAM, which is going to aid the multitasking side of things, especially with the Core i7 today. But RAM aside, there's one thing I'm slightly more excited to try out, and that's the inbuilt speaker. So let's give these a go. Let's pop this on. So far. That sounds pretty good. I'm liking that a lot. The THX audio technology built into these stereo speakers is really helping here. And uh, it's not the next boombox, but it's definitely more than adequate for a bit of content consumption, especially while you're on the move. It's also worth taking a look at some of the built-in I.O. on this notebook. You get a USB-C port at the top on the left-hand side, followed by a full-size USB-A port, which is great for compatibility and plugging in all those devices you could possibly want to connect. You also get a three and a half millimeter analog audio port for headphones and microphones and that kind of thing, which is also a nice addition to save needing to use adapters. If we spin the notebook round to the other side, you'll find another USB-C port, which once again can be used for either power or data. You'll find a full size HDMI connector, which is great for plugging this to a, a monitor for work or productivity purposes, or even the TV in your living room, and also a micro SD card reader, which is great for creatives and other professional individuals. 
All in all though, that's the Razorbook 13. It's a really sleek 13 inch ultra book that performs really well, has lots of power under the hood and comes in a really stylish and professional package with all in all a great build quality and a solid IO on both sides. Thank you for watching and we hope we'll see you soon.